Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here today and welcome to a brand new video. This is Let's Play The Sims 4 Vanilla Style Part 9 I believe and we are back at our little house that isn't so little anymore. Uh, we've been making our house look amazing by renovating it, we've been working hard, Hope's books have been doing amazingly well and we've been renovating bit by bit. So I'm really really proud of us and I'm kind of glad that we've made the decision not to move for now and just to stay put because it's really fun seeing how the house is coming together and how uh, our sims are growing and evolving. Hope is here, I've given her a few new outfits because I just felt like she needed a new, a new fresh set of clothes and oh no, do you guys reckon we can fix this without uh, putting her, you know, without the risk of death? Uh, let's see, let's see, handiness level three. I feel like we can give it a go. Uh, so let's repair that. Did you guys just see what happened to my screen then? That was insane. That was just like all of these these jobs that just uh, popped up here. Crazy ukulele. Wait, why are we trying to fix a computer when we could get someone else to fix it? I know, that's the kind of girl Hope is. I feel like she's not going to pay for someone else to do something when she can do it herself, which is why we absolutely love Hope. Now, in the last part, we did uh, try to get to know a few of the other Sims. Uh -huh. Benny, we were getting along with really, really well. Uh, Lissa, it was nice to start getting along with her and Polly. Timothy, we were flirting with. Miles, uh, we kind of tried to flirt with, but I think he's out of the running. Um, but it was good to get along with Timothy. And of course, we do know Oliver. Oliver, he just didn't seem right for us, did he? And Amelia doesn't really seem right for Finn. Good job, Hope! Oh my gosh, she's she's an absolute power woman. Uh, Finn's got a nice new t-shirt on as well. Okay, um, and I have to say, I'm actually really enjoying the fact that Hope and Finn aren't like perfectly cool dress sims. They're kind of, sometimes they're nicely put together, but sometimes they kind of dress a little bit like they've got no idea what kind of fashion or trends they like. But I really, really like that because I feel like it's super realistic for, for most of us. Um, anyway, let's see if we should get writing again. Resume writing. Oh, good. Mirror Shmira the second. That's right. Uh, our first Mirror Shmira book was actually doing very, very nicely. And we're already up to another $4,000. I did do a little bit of off-camera work um, for a day or two. So that came up quite nicely. I did not cheat, you guys, which I am proud to say. And let's just sell some of these harvestables, um, $220 for our carrots. I do love that um, we have this garden. And yay, Finn brought home 280 simoleons. I was kind of hoping he would have got a promotion today, but he just missed out on it. Uh, and what level is he? He is level five. So he really is doing quite well. Where is he? He's looking so exhausted. Oh, he's so tired. He's bored from work. Well, why don't you get into the outdoors and uh, uh, let's uh, harvest all of these uh, and evolve some of them. And then we might do a little bit more renovating on the house because we're earning money very, very quickly. Oh. And Hope, I feel like Hope's in the be best move mood ever. I am struggling to get my words out. She is doing really, really well. Oh my God, you guys, Polly Peters. Polly Peters is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Well, absolutely. Um, I think we'll just go over and let Hope do her thing at home, but that is so exciting. I was kind of waiting for one of the Sims to call up and invite us over. I wasn't sure who it was going to be, but yay, Polly wants to hang out. Um, and okay, his evolving of plants is kind of half done, but you know what? He, he's had a pretty busy day at work, so I think he deserves a little bit of time um, to, to spend with a friend or more than a friend. But they're a little bit more than a friends right now. Oh, I just love this sim so much. Okay, let's give her a bit of a knock-knock joke and a little bit of a hug, Finn, which is a pretty big deal for him because we know he's a little bit socially shy and awkward asked to move in. Now, that would be a little bit too much. Oh, my gosh. Look, you guys. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at this moment. I want to see what Finn's face is looking like. Oh my God, look how happy he is. He's like, ah, oh, I have a friend. <laughs> that face says everything. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, he's so happy to be spending time with Polly. 
What a nice, oh, what a nice moment for them. Okay, tell a funny story, uh, share a secret, and it would be good. Like, let's see what else he can do in terms of Polly. Maybe compliment her outfits. Um, you know, he wants to show that he's he's interested and that he admires her a little bit, but it's it's really hard for him to give compliments. I mean, he's not used to speaking up and being able to interact uh, with other Sims when he doesn't know them very well. So this is kind of something he needs to gradually get used to and work on. Oh my gosh, he's telling secrets about llamas. Oh my gosh, he's like, oh. <laughs> He is pretty hungry as well. Uh, it would be handy if there was some food out. Oh, Polly, um, where are you going? Let's give another heartfelt compliment and see where this relationship lies. So they are, what? Relationships, just friends. A friend will always be there for a kind word. Well, they, they don't have to just be friends. Wow! He is looking mighty fine in his, in his outfit. Uh, we should definitely say hello to uh, Alyssa, seeing as though she's sitting there. We're not just going to ignore her when she's sitting in between us. Oh, and of course, Zeus here wants um, a little bit of attention. So we should definitely give the dog attention. Dogs need love as well as people. But that is really cool. Uh, also, oh yes, I might start selling a few of these too. We do actually make a large chunk of money um, from all of our harvestables. And this is going to help our renovations so much. So that is really cool. Uh, we might do a friendly introduction to Heath as well. Um, this makes me miss like cops and firemen in The Sims 4 whenever I see Sims in like uniforms like this. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe make funny faces. That is kind of cute. I think what we might do is go give her a little bit of an embrace. Uh, that would be nice. And you know what? It would be good to get Polly by herself. I mean, it would be great if we could just go for a walk with another Sim. Like, just go for a walk and chat while they were walking. Uh, you know what? We better manage the group, actually. Yeah. So let's, um, actions, <laughs> remove from group. Oh no, it's just him and Polly in the group. Okay, that's fine. I just want a little bit of privacy because I feel like, you know, we don't want the whole family listening whilst Finn tries to flirt with Polly. Uh, so hopefully she'll come, you know. Oh, what? She can't go there? Oh, yeah. Is she? Is she going to follow us? She's like, ah, oh, may as well go for a bit of a walk. Okay. Yay! Go, Polly. Okay, let's make this happen. This is a moment for Finn. Maybe he's, like, never been with a girl either, so it would be even more exciting. Um, so this is, like, his first time really romancing... <laughs> A woman, oh. <laughs> and maybe this Snibara would be his, potentially his first kiss. Should we confess an attraction? No, let's not do that. Uh -huh. uh, let's just express a little bit of admiration, you know, go for the, for the smaller things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Sim. Miko, how are you? Okay, she is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why is he crying? Oh no, they were just kidding around. They already have their, each other's number, but we'll just exchange numbers again. Look at her big, beautiful eyes. Oh. Oh. She's like, listen to me, Finn. He's like, uh, I'll just, uh, Pop you in my phone. Oh my gosh, he kissed his phone. He's so cute. I reckon he's kind of an awkward guy. Like he tries to be cool, but he's really not cool. <laughs> Do a little bit more flirtation. And you know what? I don't think we are going to go for anything bold. I don't think we're going to go for confess attraction or first kiss or anything like that right now because his character is just he would be too afraid to. <laughs> uh, can we just embrace one more time? Oh, she's going to go inside. 
Do you reckon she'd be happy if we made dinner for everyone at her house? Or is that like a step too far? I don't know. <gasps> what? Is he going to embrace? Oh, is she? Is she taking us upstairs? Um, Polly, like Finn doesn't go upstairs with girls. This is a little much. He's like freaking out. He's like, uh -huh. Need. uh oh. Okay, that was a step too far. We read that situation wrong. You know what? Let's quickly apologize because he would definitely, definitely apologize. Is there an option? Oh no, don't ask risk a question. Okay, she's. this is going badly. This is going very badly. I think we went upstairs with her and that was not a good move. Let's damage control and leave. She's like, Ugh, just because I invite you upstairs doesn't mean I'm interested in anything happening right now. So we read that wrong. Why is she so concerned and grumpy? Maybe she also feels like she reacted too much. Uh, maybe she's thinking, oh, was I just really rude right then? Okay, we are back at Finn and Hope's house and Finn really has put a lot of uh, work aside right then to, I suppose, wait, do we not have a bigger bin? Uh, no, Katrina. No, oh, Katrina. <laughs> he, what I was trying to say then before Katrina interrupted me Oh, Hope's probably wondering what's wrong with him. Is that he could have been doing his work then to level up his career. So he spent a lot of time uh, with Polly just then, which I think shows that he is really caring about her a lot and thinking about her a lot. Uh, and that was a little bit awkward at the end, but hey, when is it not awkward oh, when you're just starting to get to know someone? So it's okay. I think it'll be fine. Now, uh, Hope is also pretty hungry, so I think this would be a good time to get some leftovers uh -huh. and chat to Finn about what's going on. Where were you? You know, where, whose house were you at? So let's just uh, have a little bit of a chat and compliment his new t-shirt because his t-shirt's looking nice. Oh, he's trying to leave. Oh my gosh. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. To know that. She's like, hey, fish. Finn. So, I know whose house you were at. You are at Polly's house, weren't uh -huh. you? <laughs> She's like, sir, tell me about it. <gasps> Sibawum. Did you kiss Sheba Polly? Bonds, old house. What happened? Shalbo Bumpy Guans. <laughs> it's probably Bro, like, Hope, stop talking. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He's definitely the one who talks less than Hope. But he's like, it was great. She had crabs. No. <laughs> uh, he, I think he would be pretty quiet, but I think he would have just said, you know, it was a good time. She's a nice girl. He's going he's gonna to keep, keep it cool and keep it quiet. I also do in the morning when Finn goes to work, uh, I do want to finish up our upstairs area and get Hope's room together because currently Hope is just sleeping out the back whilst we're working on these renovations. So we have another bathroom to put in. We have to renovate this bathroom too. So I'm thinking, do we renovate this bathroom before putting in the upstairs bathroom? Or do we just put in the upstairs bathroom? I guess we should probably renovate this one first. Uh, and then over here is going to be Hope's little art studio area, which is quite nice. It could potentially be another bedroom. And then up here will be two bedrooms and a bathroom shared by everyone. Or we could have an ensuite and one bedroom and bathroom and an ensuite and two bedrooms. So it's difficult to know. Uh, and then that'll stop Finn from having to walk all the way downstairs during the night to go to the bathroom, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Oh my God. It's already 7.30. Wait, do we have work soon? <gasps> oh, phew. We have work in two days. See, Finn knew better than I that he had time to catch up. Um, to catch up with... Oh, with Polly, so that is, that is fantastic. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do is, I don't wanna wake Hope up. Oh, actually, she's pretty much awake. Let's get into it. Let's get into some of this. Um, renovating cleanliness, pristine. I'm gonna put them up there, because I, I really don't like clean clothes on the floor. Now we have 5,000 simoleons, which is really, really good. Um, I can't believe we made so much money in such a small period of time. 
I feel like you guys are gonna think I cheated, but I swear to you, I did not. I have not cheated money once in this Let's Play, which is a pretty big deal for me. So I'm thinking uh, this could be a small bathroom over here. Then we could have a corridor that kind of goes like that. Uh, then this could be Hope's bedroom. You know, we might even be able to fit in an extra bathroom. I mean, this could be a really small bedroom upstairs. I mean, that's more than enough room for a single bed. Um, so let's put this door here to Finn's room, which means we probably want to rearrange this the other way because you don't want to like open the door into your bed frame. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, we'll put our light here. Another one there. And you guys always ask me to size these down, so I will do that. Oh, that one that one's a little bit small, isn't it? A little bit small. Okay. Nice. I hope these uh, are these rooms too small. Hmm. Cause this is like the shared bathroom and this is like the ensuite. Nah, I think I think it'll work. I think it'll work, okay. So we need a door there. Should we use some more modern doors in this upstairs area? I mean, why not? Why not when you're earning some sweet, sweet cashola? Oh my gosh, that door is 300 simoleons? Good grief, doors are expensive in The Sims 4. Okay, we could put another one there. Another one here. Oh, we are burning through our cash. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. I am liking this gray look we've gone for. We're also going to need to be putting some windows in. So, you know what? We don't have as much cash as I thought we did, which is a bit sad. But, oh well. Uh, do we want to keep up this wallpaper for every room? Mm, okay. I feel like we definitely don't have enough money for two, for three bathroom renovations right now. $24 for those tiles? Oh, tiles are so expensive. We could go for these. Oh gosh, that's 32 simoleons? Oh no, they're the exact same price. Okay, well let's just use these then. Or we could use these ones. You know what? I quite like those. I think we'll do that. And then maybe we can... Ooh, 96 simoleons. Oh, breaking the bank, you guys. Uh, and then we might use the same gray down here in this bathroom. So we've done a little bit of bathroom renovations in this one. We have the old fittings though, but you know, it's okay. And Hope, I'm gonna move you out of your bed. Sorry, love. <laughs> She's like, why would you move me out of my bed when I'm still sleeping? Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so she has a bedroom now, which is really exciting. Uh, there's not much in the bedroom, but at least she has some privacy. And the studio doesn't look like much at this stage either, but we'll get there. Now, we have had an issue with the clothing hampers, them just constantly leaving their clothes on the floor. So I do want to put a hamper into each bedroom, so every time they get undressed, we won't have the same issue over and over again. <laughs> okay, so the clothing hamper's there. Now, we've still got $1,500. Should we or shouldn't we start working on the bathroom or should we just You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start working on the bathroom Oh, no, no, you know what actually guys I'm gonna put in some windows. I Find that more important Let there be light folks and then what kind of windows would we want in here? I mean, we could kind of put three across like that. You know what? I think two's enough. Two's fine. Otherwise, we're going to have like windows everywhere. And then do we want a big window in the ensuite? I don't think so. I think we just need a little one. For some reason, I'm not really pleased with this rectangular window. I'm not sure why. We could put it down the bottom and have like light coming in that way. That's actually quite nice. It doesn't look that amazing from the outside though. But it looks cool from the inside, so I think I'm gonna keep that there. Okay, okay. 
All right, well, let's, uh, let's finish off by starting off this ensuite. It's going to be kind of half done, I suppose. We want a decent toilet in here. The reliability on that one's three as well as this one. So I feel like there's no point spending another hundred dollars from this to that. But this is reliability five. So let's get a mad good toilet. Oh my gosh. That is one of the best toilets you're ever gonna get. Oh. And I would love to do my custom content showers in this, but I'm gonna keep this Let's Play more vanilla. So, <gasps> but this one, you guys, is so nice. Oh, it doesn't even fit, so whatever. Uh, this one's only reliability three. Reliability three. Reliability nine. Oh, that is a big jump. This is reliability nine for 600. This is reliability three for more than 600. So like, why would you bother buying this raw walk-in shower? There is absolutely no point. Okay, now we've got to figure out the correct color. What color do we want, you guys? Maybe, ooh, that one's kind of nice with the dark and light. Mm, I kind of like this one. I'm kind of digging it, you know. Uh, this is kind of awkward that the door opens into the shower. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that means that we save a little bit of money because we're going to have to remove one of these windows, put that window there, uh, put the toilet here, and then we can have a nice bench space over there. So, you know what? I think that works quite well. Yes, and we'll put this away over there so when you walk out the door you don't get caught on the toilet roll because that is not ideal. And then we only have $100, so I think we're going to leave it there. At least he can use the shower and toilet. And you know what? Our renovations are, are really coming along. I mean, I'm proud. And this might be a Bambino room later. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Oh, and I also just remembered we do not have an outside bin, which is really annoying. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, Herb's being a good girl and she's cleaning that up. Good, 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 good. Okay. She's like, I am not having gross, rotting water on my brand new tiles that I have paid for. <laughs> Good job. Okay, right. Uh, we need to resume writing Mirror Shmira. I wonder how far she actually got with that. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, and I really want them to get a puppy. Oh my gosh, yes. Hope would totally get a puppy. And Finn would be like, why? <laughs> oh, and we'll have to put a hamper. Oh, guys, we really need a hamper in the other uh, laundry because that's going to drive me nuts as well if they leave their clothes everywhere. So... There we go. Oh, wow, that costs $100. We only have $2 left. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. Um, let's evolve some of these. Finn's just woken up. It's great that he has two days off now. Uh, so let's evolve all of those. His spinach plant has increased in quality. Now, in case you guys don't know, every time you evolve a plant, it increases in quality, um, which means that, um, well, I assume they just sell for more if they're better quality. So that is good. And we have a few more to evolve. So I'm just going to go ahead and evolve, evolve, evolve. <laughs> After he waters the rest of the garden. Because we want to we keep up this side business. Oh my gosh. Royalty report. The werewolf <laughs> journals has got 339 simoleons. Oh my gosh. Wow. Another 2000 simoleons just came in. I can't believe how wealthy Hope is. Oh my gosh, Finn's like pretty lucky. <laughs> what else is he watering? Oh, he's watering that tree. Okay, I'm just gonna speed that up. Hope's almost finished another book, which is good. I mean, everything's just going along quite swimmingly, if you don't mind me saying myself. Also, we can actually get Finn to call up and you need to evolve that one. Oh, we also skipped a few harvestables too, so we may as well harvest the ones that we haven't already. And then I think everything is watered. I think so. <gasps> Polly Peter's incoming phone call. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Do you want to go out on a date? 
Polly, you are just, oh my gosh, you are too much right now. Ah. Okay, guys, what I might do is I'm going to leave this part right here. And in the next part, we will go on a date with Polly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the house so far. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.